Hey, Paul Watson from the one and only Warrior Fitness. But of course, we're not at Warrior Fitness tonight. We're making a video from my living room because, of course, this crazy coronavirus. Uh, I know the nonsense going on with that, and the city has closed down old gyms. But we got to still take care of our members and our health and fitness and staying strong. So we're going to put together a video every single day for our members and of course the community as well, but we want to help you stay strong and fit. So whether it's your garage with some equipment or even your living room with no equipment at all, um, I'm going to try to hook you up. And so we're going to go through a workout every single day following our regular schedule. Each and every day we work out seven days a week as an opportunity and on Wednesdays we do back and bicep strength training. So we're going to do the same thing tonight. Even if you don't have any equipment, we're going to hook you up here with some a little bit of creativity. Okay, so getting right into things here, uh, we're going to do a superset on your first exercise. Um, I will tell you the details of this workout are going to be in the comments and description of this video. So you don't need to worry about writing anything down here. Just look at the description for a complete detail of the workout. But we're going to do a superset of three exercises for your first group. The first exercise is going to be a pull-up. If you can do pull-ups with a squat cage or a door frame pull-up bar, then you're going to want to do that. If you don't have a uh, squat cage or pull-up bar, we still got to get a type of a pull-up. And so we're going to be able to do that with some chairs. So I brought out my kitchen table chairs and we're going to want a broomstick. In this case here, I got my Spartan Spear. We just ordered from the gym came in today and of course we had to close down. So I got to work on that spear throw. So I brought it in with me today. It's going to work as a pretty good prop. So we'll place that on the chairs and our first exercise is this pull up, including even a jump and hold pull up. So if you have the strength to do pull ups and you've got a squat cage or pull up bar, do those pull ups. If you can only do a jump, hold your chin over the bar and come down slow, then that's what you're going to do. And if you don't have either of those, then we're going to use the two chairs and a broomstick, or in my case here, that Spartan Spear. So you're going to get your body on the ground here. You want to keep these chairs pretty close together so that stick doesn't snap in half here. As long as you have them pretty close like I do, you'll be fine. You grab the stick by the edge of those chairs, you get your body to the ground, have your feet mostly straight, and if you have the strength to do a pull-up, you're actually going to have your feet on a coffee table or couch. If you don't have the strength to do a pull-up, then you can keep your feet on the floor and you bring your body up to the bar. Keeping your legs straight it is actually pretty tough as it is, but if you need to, you can bend those knees and it's a little bit easier. So you have options there. So that's your first exercise of that first group of superset. So it's going to be pull-ups for a maximum effort, and then V-ups. The V-ups, you keep your feet three inches off the floor, your arms uh, also three inches off the floor. You bring your feet up, bring those hands up, touch the shin, your feet come down, and then your arms come down, and you repeat that for 30 seconds. And then you're going to do side planks. So maximum effort pull-ups, V-ups, and then side planks left and right for 30 seconds. Three rounds of that, and that's your first superset. Okay, the next superset we're going to go through is going to be three other exercises, and that's going to be a reverse fly, a one-arm row, and a body weight side ladder raise. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you now as well. Okay, so the reverse fly, if you've got dumbbells, you're going to be good to go. Grab those dumbbells, 15s, 20s. If you don't have any dumbbells, that's again where we got to get creative. I can grab a backpack, or in my case here, I've got a camelback. Okay, so a camel pack you can have in your one arm if you only have one. Keep that hand, that free hand, on your knee, and you're just going to go out to the side. If you have options for two, like I have here, then you have one in each arm. The camel bags or backpacks, load them up with books like I've got these here, and you've got basically in pretty much a totally customizable weight. 
So with the two arms, you're going to have your body bent over, uh, torso parallel to the ground, and you keep it rigid, but you move those arms up. As you bring those arms, you want to keep them in line with your shoulder. You don't want your hands to go back. This is a real simple mistake. And the biggest mistake is bending the elbows. So don't do anything like that. That's just silly and stupid. Keep those arms straight, directly off to the side. And as a last point, when you come up, do not raise your torso up. That's also a sign of weakness and those weights are too heavy for you. So keep that body parallel to the floor and then just lift straight up. Okay, straight out I should say. The next exercise that you're gonna do on this superset is a one arm row. So you'll want a heavier backpack or maybe a five gallon jug of water if you've got that. But with the heavier backpack, load it up with uh, about 30 books in here. It's about 45 or 50 pounds. This backpack is pretty long, so um, this will touch the floor too easily for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it flat on the floor like that. Then I'll take my uh, hand that I'm not using and put it on my knee that's in front. The hand I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab the backpack on the canvas with my fingers, which also helps with grip strength for a lot of our Spartan athletes. So you grab that canvas and then you bring that elbow up. Keep that elbow out to the side and keep your torso straight. As you lift, don't bend that torso. Again, that's just too much weight or too weak torso, too weak core that you need to work on. So keep that body straight down and locked in and just lift with that rear deltoid with that fist out. Okay, so that's your uh, one arm row. The next exercise on that second superset is going to be a body weight uh, side lateral raise. So you're going to get your body down on the ground, similar to like the low plank. Keep your feet in the center and you're going to lift up and then flex that upper back. Come down, rotate to the other side. If you want to grab some weight, you can do that. But this here, in and of itself is a good upper back exercise. Third superset simply is just gonna be a concentration arm curl and some bicycle crunches. So the concentration arm curl does get a little technical. So what you'll wanna do is grab a smaller chair or probably something not quite like my call kitchen chairs. And if you've got dumbbells, then you're gonna take a seat in a more like a desk chair. And then what you'll do is you'll have that knee coming straight out in front of you with that arm here down by that kneecap. And in your free hand, you put on that kneecap here that's not being, uh, that's going off to the side. You lift with everything stationary except your forearm and your hand which comes straight up. Don't bring that weight in and don't bring that elbow in. Again, straight is the most important and effective thing. Also, don't be using your knee. That's just, again, weakness that you don't wanna be uh, fooling yourself on. So, that's that dumbbell concentration curl. If you don't have weights, you can use that backpack in a very similar fashion. So what you'll do, though, is you wanna get some kind of support for your elbow. So I would take that chair, put my leg up on a chair, and then take that elbow and place it right here. In this case here, I can grab that handle strap. Again, this here is supporting. The back of that is supporting, so it can't go anywhere. And then you're just gonna lift straight up with that. Keeping that fist in line with that, uh, that uh, shoulder. And of course, the other side, works pretty well just up here same deal okay after concentration curls some uh, good looking bicycle crunches the last superset for this workout is going to be hammer curls and arm haulers so the hammer curls 
you've got dumbbells, you've got some good options there. If you don't have dumbbells, grab those camelbacks or backpacks, load them up with some more books, because you're going to want a little bit heavier weight than what you use for that reverse fly. But I'll demonstrate with uh, the dumbbells, because it'll be a little bit more effective for me to uh, show you with the dumbbells. So when you're going to be lifting, uh, especially when you're standing, and having the weights by your side, it's really important to keep in mind these mistakes that you want to avoid, and that is these elbows. So common with mistakes on elbows. So the deal is you want those elbows to stay in and forward. So you lift with those elbows straight in line and not coming back. So you keep those elbows forward as opposed to when I come down, I'll show you on my right arm. When I come down, a mistake would be bringing that elbow back. Don't do that, keep that elbow forward and just lift and come down with that elbow neutral or forward to your waist. Coming back is going to be giving yourself basically that break and just demonstrating weakness that you don't want to be doing and fooling yourself. So keep that elbow forward and if you can't do it, you just got to lighten that load. Okay, and then we finish with everyone's favorite, arm haulers. You knew we had to get some arm haulers in here on this back and bicep day. So this is definitely a back exercise. So you're going to get your body straight down on the ground. <clears throat> Arms out in front, hands off the floor, and feet off the floor. Bring those hands to your legs and together. The whole time, you've got to keep those arms straight. We never bend those elbows like this. Again, that's just weakness, and you're allowing yourself um, out of a more beneficial exercise experience and opportunity. Okay, so that is it on tonight's workout. We're going to do four supersets. Each superset, you're going to do three rounds. Again, I have the description or the details in the description on this video for you to look at. And each and every day, we're going to jam a hardcore workout that you can do in your garage with weights, your living room with no weights, or even the park. So we want to stay strong, healthy, and fit. Okay, God bless. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you soon.